Hey, how's it going guys? Bainey here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a warm audience retargeting ad on Facebook. Um, and what a, re a warm audience retargeting ad is, it's, it's an audience that have either seen one of my ads or products before through a Facebook ad, but have not yet visited my website. So anyone that's interacted with my Facebook page or inter Instagram page or any of my ads, um, but n has not yet um, visited my website. So that's that, that's a subset of people that I want to target separately from all my other ads. So I'm going to set that up today and I'm going to use a winning post ID that I've found um, from an ad I created earlier. So what I'm going to do is go through, create the custom audiences, create the ads, get the winning post ID and put it all together. It's probably going to go for about 20 minutes. So hopefully you get some value out of it. And if you're following all along, you've watched some of my videos before, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button and leave me a comment below if you have any questions. So that being said, uh, let's just jump into it and I'll create this ad. So the first thing I probably want to do is I want to create the custom audiences. So I want to come over here. This is the basic ads manager. I want to come over here, go to my audiences. And I want to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up one campaign. I'm going to set up two ad sets inside that campaign, a 365 day one and a 30 day one. And then I also have to exclude people that have visited my website in the last 365 days. So there's a couple of custom audiences I need to make here. And the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do the 30-day custom audiences to start off with. So Instagram, anyone who's engaged with my professional Instagram account in the last 30 days. I'm going to do the 30-day ones first. Okay, custom audience, 30 days, IG, and I'll do the date, which is the 9th, 9th of the 9th. So there's one. I'm going to do the Facebook one. Again, everyone who is engaged with my page. And that also includes like ads and everything. That includes absolutely everyone. Custom audience, 30 days. Facebook, 9th of the 9th. That's just my naming convention, just keeps it nice and organized. Now I want to create 365 day audiences of those same things. So come back in a come back in a create audience, go to Instagram account, leave it as 365. So custom audience 365 days IG. Not they're not. Create. Now I'll do the same for Facebook. Pick my page, leave it as is, leave it as is. Custom audience, so 365 days. So now I've got my four custom audiences built. I've got the 30 day IG, 30 day Facebook, 365 IG, uh, 365 Facebook. Now, now I need to create 365 day audiences of anyone who's visited my website. A custom audience, I'm going to go to website, next, pick the pixel, go to all website visitors, and I actually want 180 days is the maximum you can go on um, events. So you can go 365 days when you're doing Facebook engagement, stuff like that, but when you're doing events like add to cart and initiate checkout, stuff like that, the max you can go is 180 days. So that's all I want. 80 days visits. And that's really all I need to do. So create the audience. There they are all there. Now, now I want to go over back to my ads manager. And I probably want to I want to I want to probably get my winning post ID. So I've showed you how to get a winning post ID before, and I'm just going to show you a different way to do it today because the winning post ID that I want to get is actually from a video slideshow that I created through Facebook. So it's a little bit different. So the way we usually do it is through this way, is you, you find the winning ad, you click it, come over here to this little drop down box, you usually go to Facebook post with comments, and usually the last numbers on here is your winning post ID. Because this is a slideshow, these numbers just don't work and are not the winning post ID. So 
we want to get rid of that and we want to probably duplicate this would be the easiest way to go X out of this we want to go to these lines on the left left hand side you want to come down and you want to find page posts so here it is here come down here on the left hand side to add posts and here's your winning post ID here so what it's a bit of a bit a bit tricky because if you highlight it like that and then let go, it actually opens up a post preview and you don't you don't want that. So you need to click, highlight it, and before you unclick, you need to then right click at the same time and then go copy. Now we've got that, we can we can X out of that, come back to our ad, and we can start creating the ad. So like I said before, I want to have one campaign. Inside that campaign, I'm going to have two ad sets. One's going to be a 30-day one. One's going to be a 365-day one. So conversions, I want to spend probably $30 a day on this one because that's just the budget I have allocated for it. So I name it. Warm. Keep the keep the um, campaign level broad. $30 a day. Next. So now I'm at my ad set level. I'm going to set up the 30 day one first. So con 30 days. So I'm going to select website. I've got my purchase pixel optimizing for a purchase, which is what I want. Because it's a retargeting ad, I can start it straight away. That's not a problem. I'm not actually going to change, I'm not going to have a minimum ad spend or anything like that. So what I do here is this is where I put my 30-day custom audiences that I built yet just before. So a good way to find them is just to do, they should be at the top, but sometimes they're not. So I just do the date. That's the easiest way to find them. So my 30-day ones here are 30-day Facebook, 30-day Instagram. Now I also, I want to, I want to exclude my... Um, I want to exclude anyone that's visited my website in the last 180 days. So I just want people that have engaged with my page or ad before but have not yet visited my website. So that's what a warm audience is. Come down here, Australia, ages are fine. I want to turn this off. I always want to turn that off on retargeting ads. Always turn that off on retargeting ads. So never, never have that ticked on retargeting ads. Automatic's fine. I might actually leave the cost control. Now, actually, what I'm going to do I'm just going to have the cost control. I'm going to put, so this is where I can, I can set the cost control on retargeting ads. I like to set the cost control at about $60 for this um, account. It's just what's worked well for me before. So instead of having automatic bid like most of the ads are, I do cost cap. So set that as cost, cost cap as a bidding strategy. Come back to my ad set level. And I want to set it at $60. Just go all the way down here. I want to set that at $60. It's just something that I've found has worked, has worked well before, so I'm just going to stick to it. I'm going to actually change this to one day click and view because it's a retargeting ad. So I just one day click and view, I see it, I just it tends to work good for me. So I'm just going to stick with it. So I'll come over to my next. If I go next, I'm going to hit the ad. This is where I want to insert that winning post ID that I just copied earlier. So come down here to create ad, go to use existing post, and this is where I put my post ID. Submit. And my winning post ID will come up here. So I just want to name it. There it goes. It's going to have these errors and stuff. Sometimes you'll get those errors, and what that means is your domain's not picked. So it should be automatically picked all the time. Sometimes it's just not. Um, I'm going to put some parameters in here that I need. You can ignore this part. That's just something I have to do for my custom tracking. You won't need to do it to start off with. So there is my 30 day one set up and ready to go. So I want to just quickly exit out of that. I want to come back to my ad set level. I want to duplicate it. 
I want to I want to do my 365 day one. So everything else stays the same except for this part here. So I'm going to take this out. I want to insert my 365 day custom audiences that I just built recently. So 365, 365. I want to keep the 180 day look like audience, but I also want to exclude the 30 day one as well. So I only want people who have interacted with my page 31 days and longer ago, if that makes sense. Um, because I just want to test to see, again, make sure this is off. That automatically comes on every time you duplicate an ad, so always check it. Everything else should still be the same, yeah. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to just see which one goes the best out of these two. It's the same um, same ad, same everything. I'm just going to see whether I get more sales out of people who just visited 30 days ago. But then obviously this audience is much bigger. This audience is probably like 100,000. This audience is probably only a couple thousand. So I just want to see which one goes better. Um, whichever one goes better, Facebook will probably spend more money on. So I'm not going to set any limits on it. I'm just going to let it figure it out for itself. So very, very quickly, a brief overview. Set up a conversion campaign targeting a warm audience. I, inside that campaign, I did two ad sets, a 30 day one and a 365 day one. On the 365 day one, I excluded the 30 day audience. I also excluded anyone who's visited my website in the hundred, last 180 days. And same, same for the 30 day one as well. So, and then inside each one of those ad sets is obviously just the one ad. So everything should look good. Just give it a quick look over. That's all good, that's all good, looks good. And I showed you how to, get, how to get the winning post ID, even though it is a little bit different because of the slideshow. Um, but yeah, that, that should all be good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and publish that. And that is how you set up a warm audience retargeting ad for 365 days and 30 days. And I'm just gonna run those for a couple of days and see which one goes the best. I'll probably, just depending on how, on how this goes over the next four or five days, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what see what happens actually. So um, I'll come back in a couple of days and I'll keep you updated. But that's it for today's video, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you like the content, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button and leave me a comment below. So that's it, guys, and I'll see you on another video. Thanks, guys.